In the realm of celluloid reverie, where stories unfold like petals brushed by the gentle hand of time, there exists a film that wove itself into the tapestry of cinematic history, Homber, a masterpiece birthed in the kaleidoscopic year of 1967. Can you recall that instant when you first beheld its flickering light, when the screen whispered its secrets into your waiting heart? Perhaps it was in a dimly lit theater, the scent of buttered popcorn lingering like a promise, or maybe on a cozy couch, where the world outside ceased to exist, and you were ensnared by the enigmatic aura of Paul Newman's portrayal. As the reel spun and the plot unfolded, did you find yourself perched on the edge of your seat, entangled in the raw emotions and moral quandaries that danced across the screen? It's those moments that cling to memory like a cherished melody, etching themselves deep within, evoking the exhilaration of that initial encounter. And now, as we stand upon the threshold of reminiscence, let us journey into the heart of Homber, unearthing the gems that illuminate its creation. Let us unveil the behind-the-scenes anecdotes that cast a new light upon the characters we've come to adore, and the narrative that dared to explore the untamed terrains of human nature. So, gather round, fellow travelers of celluloid dreams, as we embark on a voyage through time and cinema, guided by the unerring compass of random facts about Homber. Let the curtain rise once more on a story that continues to resonate across generations, a testament to the enduring power of art to stir souls and provoke contemplation. For in the universe of Homber, where every glance in silence holds a universe of meaning, we find ourselves anew, reflecting on our journey through its landscapes of emotion and truth. In the 1967 film Homber, directed by Martin Ritt, a subtle link to cinematic history emerges through a seemingly innocuous exchange. As Doris, played by Diane Silento, inquires about the cost of Mrs. Favor's perfume, the retort comes as a witty twist, the best years of your life. This reference alludes to Frederick March, who portrays Dr. Favor in the movie, having starred in The Best Years of Our Lives in 1946. This intriguing connection adds a layer of intertextuality to Homber, highlighting the actor's shared cinematic legacy. In this Western drama, Paul Newman takes the lead as John Russell, a white man raised by Apaches who finds himself entangled in a dangerous stagecoach journey. The ensemble cast brings forth notable talents such as Richard Boone, Frank Silvera, and Martin Balsam. Interestingly, this quartet of actors all share Jewish heritage, a fact that underscores the diverse backgrounds converging on screen. The film also marks the film debut of David Canary, who later gained fame for his television work. While Homber engages viewers with its gripping storyline and rugged landscapes, these hidden ties and nods to cinematic history enrich the viewing experience. The convergence of veteran talents, combined with subtle references, cements Homber not only as a Western classic but also as a cinematic tapestry woven with intriguing connections. In the vast expanse of the Wild West, where identities and loyalties are tested, Homber thrives not only as a tale of survival but as a canvas that artfully weaves together the threads of its performers' past. The seemingly incidental dialogue choices serve as a reminder that every word and gesture in cinema can hold a deeper significance, inviting audiences to uncover the layers beneath the surface. So, the next time you watch Homber, keep an ear out for the echoes of cinematic history and the whispers of connection that bridge the past to the present, all through the lens of a classic western. Co-star Sneaky Oscar Wynn steals the spotlight. Martin Balsam's coupe during 1,967 seconds Homber filming in the bustling world of Hollywood, where glitz and glamour often collide, the 1967 film Homber carved a unique story beyond its reels. Amid the riveting Western drama, an unexpected twist took center stage, one that unfolded during the backdrop of the prestigious Academy Awards. Martin Balsam, a prominent actor sharing the screen with Paul Newman and Homber, found himself straddling two monumental events. While the cameras rolled for this gripping tale, Balsam was also caught in the whirlwind of the 1967 Academy Awards. Nominated for Best Supporting Actor due to his impeccable performance in A Thousand Clowns, Balsam faced a dilemma that could rival the tension of any Hollywood plot. Restricted by filming commitments on the Homber set, Balsam's chances of attending the Grand Awards ceremony seemed slim. Yet, in a move that could have been scripted for the big screen itself, he seized an opportunity. Sneaking away from the set without official permission, Balsam made a daring escape to the Oscars. As fate would have it, Balsam's gamble paid off. Amidst the star-studded gathering, he clinched the coveted Oscar, etching his name in Hollywood history. The actor's victory not only added a golden feather to his cap but also injected an aura of intrigue into the legacy of Homber. While Homber embraced the rugged landscape of the Wild West, its behind-the-scenes drama was equally enthralling. Balsam's unexpected Oscar triumph echoed the film's themes of risk-taking and audacity, intertwining reality with fiction in a manner only the movies could master. As the reels of Homber continue to spin, they unravel a tale not only of frontier survival but also of a co-star's audacious heist of the industry's most coveted accolade. A remarkable testament to the era when cinema and reality converged, Homber remains a testament to the unexpected twists that lie beneath the surface of Hollywood's glimmering facade. The 1967 classic film Homber stands as a testament to the talents of its stellar cast, including three Oscar winners and one nominee. 
Led by the incomparable Paul Newman, the movie marked a significant point in his collaboration with director Martin Ritt. This Western drama, set in the unforgiving Arizona wilderness, captivated audiences with its intense storytelling and rugged landscapes. Notably, Humber was the last cinematic endeavor that paired Newman's remarkable acting prowess with Ritt's directorial vision. The duo's synergy was palpable, culminating in a gripping narrative that explored themes of morality and justice in a harsh frontier. Newman's portrayal of the titular character showcased his ability to embody complex personas with a magnetic authenticity. Adding to the film's pedigree was Peter Laser, whose involvement in Homber marked a significant chapter in his career. The movie's production offered Laser a final canvas for his cinematic talents, leaving a lasting mark on his legacy within the industry. The cast's depth extended beyond Newman and Laser. With three Oscar winners, Paul Newman, Frederick March, and Martin Balsam, alongside Oscar nominee Diane Silento, Homber boasted a constellation of acting luminaries. Their collective experience elevated the film's impact, weaving a tapestry of performances that etched the characters into the audience's memory. The year 1967 witnessed the birth of Homber, a movie that transcended the Western genre's conventions. Its exploration of human morality in the face of adversity, underscored by the collaboration between Paul Newman and Martin Ritt, etches it into the annals of cinema history. In the realm of classic filmmaking, Homber remains a timeless gem that continues to shine brightly, reminding us of the captivating talents of its cast and crew. Steve McQueen's notable presence could have graced the 1967 classic Homber had he not chosen a different path. The role of John Russell was initially offered to McQueen, but memories of a past role as half-Indian Melody Bachelor dissuaded him. Interestingly, McQueen later commended Paul Newman's performance in the film, hailing it as one of Newman's best. A mark of distinction, Homber earned its spot among the 1001 movies you must see before you die, an esteemed compilation curated by Steven Schneider. The film's inclusion underscores its enduring impact on cinematic history. Behind the scenes, there was an intriguing twist involving Richard Boone's casting. Elmore Leonard, the mastermind behind the novel that inspired the film, envisioned Boone in the lead role. Boone's presence, however, eventually adorned a different character, adding an unexpected layer to the film's production. In the annals of film lore, Homber weaves a tale of what could have been, its cast choices shaping a narrative that continues to captivate. This lesser-known backstory illuminates the complex tapestry of decisions that form a film's DNA. As we revisit Homber, we're reminded of the paths not taken, the roles that almost were, and the magic that ultimately graced the silver screen. Homber, rain-soaked set, Paul Newman's escapades, and lasting legacies amidst the cinematic buzz of 1967, one movie stood out, capturing the essence of the era with its gripping narrative and star-studded cast. Homber, directed by Martin Ritt, remains an emblem of Western classics, offering a riveting tale of survival and morality. The production, however, was marred by relentless rainstorms that tested the patience and commitment of the crew. Paul Newman, the film's leading man, found himself entangled in the off-screen drama as much as on-screen challenges. Amidst the tumultuous weather, Newman managed to keep himself occupied by playing tennis, indulging in hearty conversations with Martin Balsam, and occasionally enjoying a few drinks. Such anecdotes paint a vivid picture of the camaraderie amidst adversity. Beyond the rain-soaked anecdotes, Homber carries a poignant footnote in cinema history. For Linda Cordova, the movie marked the end of her acting journey. Her presence in the film lends it an aura of finality, a sentiment echoed by her departure from the limelight. Surprisingly, Homber also held a special place in the heart of none other than Sean Connery. At that time, Connery was married to Diane Silento, and the movie seemed to resonate deeply with him, becoming a favorite within their cinematic repertoire. As the years have passed, Homber endures as more than just a film, it's a mosaic of memories and stories, interwoven with rain, camaraderie, and personal connections. Its legacy transcends the screen, reminding us of the dedication it takes to bring stories to life, no matter the challenges faced. As the sun sets on the cinematic landscape of 1967, one film emerges as a timeless gem, a quiet force that continues to whisper its resonant narrative into the hearts of those who have embarked on its journey. Amber, a masterpiece of its time, invited us to ride shotgun with its characters through a trail of moral dilemmas, stark landscapes, and profound human connections. As the credits roll and the echoes of Paul Newman's enigmatic portrayal linger in our minds, it's hard not to find ourselves entangled in the intricate web of emotions spun by this cinematic marvel. Whether it was the rugged landscapes that mirrored the souls of its characters or the dialogue that cut through the silence like a knife, Homber isn't just a movie, it's an exploration of the human spirit. Perhaps you found yourself captivated by the raw authenticity of the performances, or maybe it was the suspenseful plot that kept you on the edge of your seat. Whatever the case, Homber transcends time, weaving its narrative threads into the fabric of our own lives. Did you see a reflection of your own struggles and triumphs in the eyes of John Russell? Did you ponder the choices that faced you as the characters navigated their own moral compasses? Now, I invite you to take a moment, a reflective pause, and let the essence of Homber wash over you. 
Recall the scenes that left you breathless, the dialogues that played like music to your ears, and the emotions that swelled within you. Your personal connection with this cinematic treasure is a testament to the power of storytelling, how it bridges the gap between the silver screen and the intricate tapestry of your own experiences. Share with us, dear reader, your cherished memories and profound thoughts that Humber has sparked within you. Let your voice join the chorus of those who have felt the same magic, the same resonance that continues to echo through the years. Your perspective is a vital brushstroke on the canvas of this film's impact. Thank you for taking this journey down memory lane, for delving into the labyrinth of emotions that Humber stirs within us. Your time and interest are deeply appreciated, as is your willingness to share your thoughts. Until next time, keep the spirit of Humber alive in your heart and remember, your connection to this masterpiece is a story worth telling. Warmly, your name.